everyone, my name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jen, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to yet another weekend reading vlog. Hi, hello! This weekend is a bit of a special weekend vlog, I guess, <laughs> because Friday, today, for me at least, <laughs> I put up a video of a fantasy triad chapter tag, which I was super excited about because I ended up finding a book that I really wanted to read, so I thought, what a good way to kind of segue these two videos together and do a special reading vlog for that top one in that triad chapter tag, and that is Jade City by Fonda Lee. So this weekend, this is what I'm going to be reading <laughs> as soon as I finish She Who Became the Sun. I have less than 100 pages left, and I have like not many hours left on the audiobook, so I'm going to be finishing this today and then we're gonna be jumping into this later. Maybe today, maybe not today, maybe tomorrow, but I have the whole weekend carved out just to relax. <laughs> I had a slightly busier week. Wednesday I had d and with my friends. Yesterday I had my last day of summer teaching and then I had a like going away housewarming party for my friends that I went to at their currently now empty apartment, which was wild because it was the most amount of people that I have been in the same room with that I knew. Like, like, barring being in a store with a bunch of people, I hadn't been around that much people in like a long time inside. So it was fun and very draining. <laughs> so I am doing nothing for the rest of the weekend except Sunday I have a D&D game, which I am DMing. It's my D&D game and it's online so that that's great. I can be as comfy as I want it's Sunday night. It's gonna be a good time. And I do also need to wrap up reading my critique partner's manuscript. But other than that, this weekend is mine, babies. This weekend is mine and it is dedicated to Jade City by Fonda Lee. Now, Jade City by Fonda Lee. Let's have a look at what this is about. I read the first chapter for that try a chapter tag and I loved it. I gave it a 10 out of 10, absolutely adored this first chapter and it made me so excited to keep reading this book. So. The back of this book says, For centuries, honorable greenbone warriors have used magical jade to enhance their abilities and defend the island of Kekon from foreign invasion. Now the war is over and a new generation vies for control of Kekon's bustling capital city. Four siblings of the powerful Call family must prepare for battle and the fragile peace between the clans is about to break. So super pumped for this baby and it's just gonna be a great way to kind of go into the last week of August, first week of September. It's gonna gonna be fantastic and I'm ready for it. That's the weekend. Today is still Friday. It is about 1.30, so I'm gonna make myself lunch and just kind of relax. Maybe do some work for work if I have any waiting for me in my emails or work on my critique partner's manuscript because he emailed me this morning saying he was done with mine and he was gonna have like his thoughts all ready for me by Monday. So I need to finish his so that I can do the same. It's very exciting to, to know that somebody else has finished reading my work and is gonna give me their thoughts. Everything is gonna be great, my friends. But yes, that's the weekend. Stick around, my friends. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll catch up with you a little later. I just want to be reading in the rain right now, but ignore the TV, <laughs> but I am still currently sitting at my desk. I'm not doing work right now. I'm actually running through my critique partner's manuscript, trying to get my allotted pages in for the day. I'm on page 211 of 279 and I wanted to get up into the 220s today. So 10 more pages roughly, and then I can go read in the sunroom where it's raining. It's going to be beautiful. Although my dog hates the rain. And she's currently not having a good time. I just want to go read. So, 10 more pages, and then I'm there. Oh, 
Saturday. Hi, hello. How are y'all doing? I am here. I just cleaned my basement. Saturday, my friends. Yesterday. What did I do yesterday? I finished She Who Became the Sun, which was I'm still processing it like it's crazy. Like I haven't even filmed my update for this video because I'm still processing how I feel about this book. It was that good. <laughs> and then what did I do? What did I do yesterday? Oh, I finished my uh, critique partner's manuscript yesterday. I just, I got into it and... I, I didn't really get into the story, but I was just like, you know what, <laughs> we're here. Let's just finish it so that I don't have to keep thinking about this this weekend. So I finished it up and then I typed up the email of all my thoughts and the feelings and sent it off to him. So that's off my plate for the rest of the weekend. Been free and tastic. And then I started reading Jade City by Fonda Lee. I did it. Last night I ended up doing one of those like, how many pages can I read in an hour challenges for TikTok. Um, it's not up yet, but it's in my drafts and I, severely disappointed myself by only reading 55 pages <laughs> because I read 100 pages of this but like again this is like YA mystery this is high fantasy and even just from the like if you were just looking at the pages themselves there is a big difference on like space and wordage you know fonts bigger that kind of a thing so it's fine I am also really liking it so far so today my plan I only have one singular plan, and that is to read this book and really enjoy it. So that's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go upstairs, make myself a coffee, eat something, cause my stomach's been chatting to me all morning since I like got up and started cleaning and then showered and you know, got my life together. <laughs> this is it, this is it my friends. We're gonna dive in. I also saw on TikTok uh, somebody who does an interesting version of annotating. I can't really see it very well here, but she does like, if she annotates on a page, like for example, this annotation, she then like takes a marker and runs it down the edge of the page so that when it's all together you have color. See I did it with a highlighter though so I'm gonna have to go upstairs and fix that. Use one of my markers upstairs to do that because I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna think I'm gonna get like a green and then by the end of this it's gonna be all like lines with green of where I've annotated. It's gonna look really pretty but yes let's do it. Let's do it my friends. Let's get our Saturday started. read a part in this book that has completely taken the plot and upped the stakes just in the most like gut-wrenching kick to the gut and was not expecting that at all kind of way like 
in the way that you would take out the most important player of a game kind of a thing at the last second like totally fuck everything up and I don't know what Fondalee's doing. I know what she's doing. She's raising the stakes and like raising everybody's <laughs> stakes in this game even more because okay so this book is about the call siblings and one like cousin that they consider like a sibling and so it's about Andon who's the youngest he's in school still we have Shay who has like rejected her life as a as a green bone who are these warriors that can wear jade and like harness their powers and stuff and then we have the two brothers we have like the leaders of the of the no peaks part of this uh jade gang essentially I'm so shook <laughs> and so like whatever just happened was enough to make char another character do something that they like didn't want to do at all it's just it's such a clusterfuck of what's happening and I'm so attached to these characters and I love this book so much so far. Oh my god. <sighs> and it's like kind of like a gang wars in a way. Like moves for power and like this ever present like danger and like tectonic plates like rubbing up against each other kind of a thing and you know at some point something is going to break and enough pressure is going to push and then there's going to be an earthquake or in this case a all out war between the clans. And that's what we have right there was a move near the beginning that like set it off but you could even see before that like all of the places and pieces being put into play and then this what just happened made it even worse oh my god anyways <laughs> i'm really enjoying this i'm currently on page 282 i am over halfway because this is where the book ends i also found the audiobook for it which is awesome <laughs> so i'm listening to the audiobook as well uh, which is helping me stay much more focused because i am incapable of reading a book without an audiobook apparently <sighs> It's helped helped a lot. <laughs> I'm also doing that fun like tabbing thing that I explained earlier and it's it's lovely. I'm really enjoying the way that it's looking on my book as I'm going through. Whenever I annotate a page, I mark the edge with a green marker and you can now see how far I've gotten through, which is also really cool. And I'm I'm when I get my hands on Jade War and then Jade Legacy, I'm going to do the matching colors for that. So Jade War is red. I will do matching red and then Jade Legacy is blue and I'll do blue. But yeah. Oh. Anyways, I'm gonna get into bed and read a little bit more. Because <sighs> this book is so good and so intense so far. Ooh, and I'm gonna try to keep this as spoiler free as possible, so I know where this is going, but I'll catch up with you guys probably tomorrow. <laughs> everyone happy sunday <laughs> barely it was like 11 30 at night does it count it counts <laughs> this may have been such an interesting day i got up this morning and we went and drove out to the lake because we actually bought a cottage last week and so i had never seen it my parents did though so we went up just to check a few things and i got to see the outside of it for the first time and like where it is but it's super fun a little drive this morning we got home around like 12 31 and then in that moment i realized the potential <laughs> of a new place and a like a new cottage for for them and i was like what do i want to get my parents for christmas and i was like what if i crocheted them a beautiful blanket and then my mom being my mom i knew she has opinions about patterns and colors and whatever so i told her my idea and then we went to michael's and she picked out the yarn that she liked and told me the pattern that she liked <laughs> so i now have yarn sitting over there waiting for me to start crocheting a beautiful blanket which is awesome but then I came home and I did some reading of Jade City and then I had my second to last session of my D&D &D campaign with my friends and it was super fun <laughs> I, like it was one of those sessions that I was just like I'm really proud of my players and the way that they did today 10 out of 10 
very good. They got through a few of my puzzles in like a minute, really, really quickly when I thought it was gonna take them a while and I was like, it's fine, it's okay because it ended really good and like their shocked faces when I like revealed stuff to them at the end were was like everything, everything I could have wanted. Uh, but since then I've been sitting in my bed reading Jade City and I am so close to the end, you guys. I have less than 100 pages left. So this goes to just, just under 500 pages, like 500, 495 pages. And I'm on page 413, so like basically 100 pages left. And um, I'm gonna hopefully finish this up tomorrow, but I do have to kind of get my sleeping schedule back on track. So I'm gonna try and start doing that this week as, as life gets back to sort of normal. I'm gonna finish Jade City tomorrow, for sure, for sure. So you guys are gonna have to wait for tomorrow to hear my final thoughts, but this book is so good. This book is so good. And I feel legitimately stupid sometimes um, with how much like political machinations are happening, but in the best way, because it's so delicious. But anyways, my friends, I will catch you tomorrow, Monday, the start of another work week to finish up Jade City and to finish up this weekend vlog. Hello friends, happy Monday. I am popping in because I am going to now finish up Jade City. I have been, you know, just kind of chilling at my desk for most of the morning, for most of the day, because it's like 3.30 now or later almost 20 to 4 and there's nothing really else in my inbox so i think i'm going to focus on finishing this up so that i can edit upload this vlog for you guys to go up tomorrow and i'm excited to get through the rest of this i have as i said less than 100 pages left what can happen in, in less than 100 pages a whole lot apparently so we're gonna dive into this and then i'll come back when i'm done hello friends it is now officially the end of the day sort of it's like <laughs> so end of work day, end of everything, and end of this vlog because I've officially finished Jade City. This book is so flinging flanging good. This world is one of my new favorite worlds. It is so gritty and so real. And you know, you guys know how much I love realistic like world building and stuff. Like not like realistic, but like in the way that it feels like it is so lived in and so real. Like this does also does feel realistic because it's like an urban fantasy, right? It's based on real cities and stuff like that. There's guns and that kind of a thing. But like this was fantastic and I am so mad that I'm on a book buying ban right now that I cannot buy the second and pre-order the third for when that comes out. So livid, but I guess I will just have to wait and see what happens in the next bit of time because <laughs> my birthday is coming up in a week. So maybe, maybe somebody will give me a little money and I can go get it at the bookstore with no guilt. Maybe, who knows? I will be getting it before the end of the year for sure. Oh, this book was just so good. You guys saw my reaction to it yesterday when I was reading it in the way that the Fonda Lee just like upped the stakes in a way that was so completely surprising to me. Did not expect it at all. And then there was another thing that happened right at the end of this book that had the same like not expecting reaction to me that I just kind of sat there for a second and I was like here we go fondly up the stakes again so good oh my god and the way that this is written it is definitely an adult book and I will say that I did have a few issues wrapping my head around some of the politics but other than that it was great it was so good anyways friends I'm gonna leave it here I will leave my more concrete thoughts for when I have, you know, thrown this through cop out, sat on it for a hot second, but this is getting like a four and a half or a five star. This is so good. Anyways, friends, thank you so much for hanging out with me this weekend, and uh, I will catch you in another video very soon. Stay kind and keep on reading. <laughs>